Hey guys, so I've been reading on the forums about this heat ta reflective heat tape that people are putting on their uh, cold air intake to see if it reflects heat and makes your air going into your uh, engine a little cooler. But I couldn't find anything about a yes or no or definitive answer. So what I'm going to do today is buy some reflective heat tape, put it on my intake, and see if it makes my intake air temperature a little cooler to finally confirm if it works or not. So the way I'm going to do this is I have my SCT tuner that has, I can read my intake air temp. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let my car get up to operating temperature. I'm going to read it on here. And then I'm going to put the heat wrap on and check it again to see if when uh, before and after the heat wrap tape to see if my intake air temp changes at all. Guys, yeah, so I'm going down the road and I just got up to operating temperature right there. Ignore the check engine light. That's because of my... Uh, of catalyst mid pipe but at operating temperature right now I've been staying set steadily at about 96 right now I'm well, not moving but going down the road about 55 my intake air temperature was about 96 it's starting to drop as I go when I get the speed at about 55 it will drop down to about 96 but you can see it right there Staying at a steady, well, not really steady right now, but it's dropping. We'll see what it is in a second. All right, right now, it's staying at a steady 100 degrees, going down the road at 55. And right now, just so you know, it's about 84 degrees out, and we're staying at about 100 degrees on the intake air temp. I'll let you know what it is at idle once I get to the auto parts store. Hey guys, so I just got the auto zone, and right here, I'm sitting in the parking lot, and right here at idle, you can see it's, my intake air temp's about 126 degrees Fahrenheit, and mind you, it's only 86 degrees out right now. So I'm going to go inside and get that reflective heat tape, and we'll go home, put it on, and see if my intake temp changes at all. So I went ahead and bought this insulating tape. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove my intake. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it and I'll be back with you once it's all wrapped. Alright, I got it all on. Wrapped the best I could. I ran out of heat wrap just at the top right there, but I don't think that will make much of a difference. I got about 95% of it. It's the best I could. Now I'm going to just take it on test drive and I'll let you guys know how it goes. Hey guys, so I got the intake on. I've been driving around for about 15 minutes. My engine's warm and right now my intake air temp is 102 degrees and it's a couple degrees cooler actually. I think it is 82 out compared to 84 or 86. So I don't think that so I don't think the heat wrap is doing anything. Right there you can see it's 82 degrees and my average intake temperature is about 102 at 55 miles an hour. I'll be honest, it doesn't seem like the heat wrap really did anything. If anything, it actually made it worse. I don't know. I'm going uh, to find a spot and just let it idle and see what it goes up to. See if maybe it helps it idle. But as of now, do I think it's worth it? No, it's be honest, I would save that $15, $20, put it towards something else, because I don't really see any point in wrapping it when it doesn't even, it really does nothing. So if you're thinking about wrapping your intake, just save the money and don't do it. It's not going to do anything. If anything, it's going to make it worse. So I've been sitting here laying my car idle, and the air intake is down from what it was before, but... That could also be from me sitting in the shade compared to the sun before. But in conclusion, if you're thinking about wrapping your intake, don't. Save your money, put it towards something better. There. Like, it's just gonna be hot. It, like, there's no purpose. There really is no purpose. You're just gonna lose, your air intake's gonna go high and you're gonna lose horsepower. And it's not gonna be much horsepower. It's gonna be maybe one horsepower, maybe two. But I wouldn't do anything with it. So hopefully you enjoyed that video. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and you found your answer to whether you should wrap your intake or not. Alright, if you like the video, 
like, comment, and subscribe. Later.